Good morning, Foley High School. Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Foley High School. Now here's another segment of the Lion Pride News. Prom committee will meet after school on Thursday, February 20th. Any student interested in trying out for cheerleading or mascot for next school year should attend an informational meeting today at 4 p.m. in the school library. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Lerwick in room 208. If you're interested in being part of the video operation department for Foley football, there will be a meeting today in room 315 immediately after school. If you have any questions, please see Coach Riggs. The Advanced Placement Academy Community Information Meeting scheduled for today has been postponed until Tuesday, February 18th. Today's birthdays are Benita Adams, Bobby Kane, Logan Ackerman, and Jose Contreras. Happy birthday to you all. Winter Ball was hosted Saturday, February 8th at the Foley Civic Center. Everyone there looked great, and it was a wonderful night. Thanks to our very own cheerleaders, the decorations turned out beautifully. Hi everyone, we're here with Deja James and Sean Sanks, the seniors class winter balls king and queen. So how does it feel to be chosen as uh, king and queen? Um, it feels good. I was really surprised. Um, but it's an honor to be voted as my senior class's king, I mean, not king, queen of winter ball. Um, like Deja said, it was an honor and I was also really shocked. Um, the whole time me and Deja were like, guessing other people's names who we thought would win it and we had no idea it would be us. So guys, did y'all enjoy Winter Ball? <clears throat> I did enjoy Winter Ball and, you know, being announced King was, um, just kind of made my night. And I enjoyed it also, just being with my friends and everything. Um, and the decorations were really nice. Okay, and did you guys do anything fun afterwards? Yeah, I did. We, some of my friends came over to my house and we, you know, just, yeah, we had fun. Um, I went over to Conrad's house, had a great time, whooped them in NCAA. Uh, well, thank you, God, for your time, and back to the news. Well, hello, kids. I have a very special tale for you all today. Are you ready to know what it is? Yeah! Alright, today I'm going to be reading to you Cinderfella, a Yay! winter ball tale. Are you guys excited? Alright, well let me get my glasses on so I can read it to you. Alright, here we go. Alright, Cinderfella. Okay. <clears throat> Once upon a time, in a faraway land called Foley, Alabama, there was a magical kingdom known to be the home of the scholars. It was called Foley High School. All the young people in the kingdom were so excited for the winter ball which was held each year and was presented by the Royal Order of Cheer. These were girls of the highest nobility, next to the royals, of course. They waved pom-poms and were always cheering on the kingdom's knights at regular jousting events. The winter ball was one of the most lavish events of the year, and everyone was welcome to go. However, there was a boy by the name of Cinderfella who longed terribly to go to winter ball, but was unable to due to his evil mother. Here now is the story of poor Cinderfella, a story of hope. I'm so excited to go to Winter Ball. I'm finally of age to attend. Dude, you're so uncool, as if any girl would ask you. I mean, I can't have you there. I have a reputation to uphold, and you can't be cramping my style. I can too, good girl, and I will. You're not going to stop me from going to Winter Ball. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, but I am. You'll stay home and clean. But why can't he do it? He's been before a bunch of times. Because he has a date and you don't. It's pitiful. You'll stay home instead. But I can get a date. Uh-uh. I don't want to hear it. Clean. Your brother and I have to get ready now. If we're back before midnight, don't wait up for us. This isn't fair. I don't have to have a date. Who knows? My true love could be there. Ugh. I need somebody to help me. Does somebody need help? Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother, here to grant your every wish. Well, I want to go to Winter Ball. Well, you can't go looking like that. Mm, let me help. Swiggity swoogity swag. Perfect. Wow, this is amazing. This means I can finally go to Winter Ball now, but wait a second. My room isn't clean. Oh, um, here. Swiggity swoogity swag. Oh my, wow, that was amazing. I can finally go to Winter Ball now, but wait a second. What if my mom sees me? I have the perfect solution. Here, take these glasses. When you're wearing these, nobody except for your true love can see you. Even, they even don't look that bad too. Wow. Wow. And now you have a date to Winter Ball. But remember, they only work until midnight and you have to keep them on. Now, the dance is about to start, so you better go. Yes, ma'am. And so Cinderella was off to the dance. It was certainly going to be a night that he would remember. <laughs> Cinderella and the pretty girl Maddie really hit it off and danced the night away. Cinderella had found his true love. Oh, pretty girl, I love you. I love you too. I can't believe we've been dancing this long. It's almost midnight. Midnight. Mm. But I'm having such a good time. But I have to go home. Well, at least let me take your glasses. I can't, I can't. Sure you can, just let me hear it. Let me do it. Hey look, it's Cinderella. Hey, Cinderella, hey, hey. I love you. I gotta go home now. But Cinderella, you forgot your glasses. Mm, good morning, Mother. Good morning, son. The house was clean very nice. Did you have fun? <laughs> yes, ma'am. So, I suppose the rumor I heard about you at Winter Ball last night was untrue? Yes, ma'am. Good, because if it was, you'll never do anything for the rest of your life. I'll get it. Hello? Hi, is Cinderella home? Yes, come in. May I ask who you are? Um, I'm a classmate of his. He left these at Winter Ball last night, and I just wanted to give them back. Cinderella, you lied to me. Um, is this a bad time? No, this is a great time because my son will never do anything again for the rest of his life. Mom, this isn't fair. I do everything for you and I'm a good son. Hush, boy. I'm sorry I'm late, but this conversation is over. Well, will you please give these to him and let him know that I really appreciated how nice he was to me last night? He's a really great guy and I've liked him for a while. You're right, I know. Cinderella? Yes, Mother? You're my pride and joy, my youngest son. I love you so much, and I've always been afraid that you'd just find some girl and fall in love and leave me. But, Mother, I will always love you. And I'll never do anything to come between you and your son. Y'all are right. Just go have fun. Keep me updated. Yes, ma'am. I love you. I also love you. I love you both. Well, I guess you have to learn to let go. After all, it's only high school. Well, kiddos, there's the story. All was mended and everything turned out right. And of course, they all lived happily ever after. The Yay! This is the